top of the mountain here, laddies. My name is Ryan Wilkinson. I'm up on my channel, Treats and Elders, where Treats and Don't Take Love, Treats and Don't Take This Life. Anyway, this is basically primarily was my first channel, but I think with like Google, I think Google actually bought over YouTube, like partnership in order, but I can actually have a YouTube account. You actually need like a Google account, so it made me create like a new account, even though I already have one for YouTube, so I have like a Gmail uh, email address when I actually had what's called like a live dot that could care or do that I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, my first channel is going to be pretty much all gaming, maybe a couple other things from time to time. This channel here, um, my first channel is basically just Treats and Double Six, this one here is Treats and Double Six too. So you can check out my first one, there'll be a link. I'll have to actually potentially put up on the About section page. Anyway, so this year video here, I'm basically going to do this here. I bought this like ages ago. Here's like, this is basically just a bigger version of it. There's like the smaller one right there. It has articulation. If you don't know what articulation is, basically parts of the body that moves. It's mostly like hands, arms, and then like usually heads. So you can just have a way back like that there. And that's what he looks like. He have like a, just looks pretty random. I'll hold him up. It'll fall down like in a second, probably. Yeah, nothing gonna be like that. Could probably go. Uh, thing about me, I actually love Mario. Like, so we want to have like some Mario figures in the future. Don't I have that many? Like, I'll buy like amiibo. Still, this day, I don't have a single amiibo. Here's a downside of this figure already, which I don't actually know if it's actually supposed to be a gap, or you can actually go actually all you can see a bit. So you see that arm there is a bit of a gap, and then this arm here as well is a bit of a gap. So you can basically like, I won't be able to better. You probably won't be able to see that much in the video. If you can see me sort of like tugging it a wee bit, you can see it going like up and down kind of. Yeah, there's the arm right there anyway. So in the box, I can put them all the way up. That's a really annoying thing I get as well about figures in terms of articulation. I said articulation basically just like stuff that moves. Uh, see the legs are like there, where you can see like the screws, where the screws go in, and also there. I think it's better if they actually seal that up. Because I mean, well, I mean, if the figure does also claw off the arms, like maybe you can like screw it back the arm. I really don't know. Like, but basically, yeah. Uh, annoying thing as well, so you're inspecting figures as well in terms of paint jobs, like there. I notice a lot of people out there like really love their pop finals. Me personally, I really do care much for pop finals. Maybe some of the future, I think the orbs look a wee bit better in a way, but the thing is, the pop finals, like most of the paint jobs, you look at the box, you have to open it up, it's brand new, it's on the shelf, and it has like, I think I have like baby like Jordan, like just right down its face, like, and then it's lap, or right down to the ground, like a puddle, it's kind of what's, it, what's like. I get a little crash button, like, and basically Dr. Nero Vortex. Um, in Smiths at the minute, it's going for like, like three quid, they're probably all going to be sold out anyway. It's usually retail for a tenner, so it's like on offer. And it's like yell in the face and the paint jobs is like really bad looking. But uh, I do love like this figure a lot. Like, just, I like the original one. This paint job is like super cool. I think the face in that one is like actually slightly darker, or maybe it's just the way the light is. I think it does look slightly darker. Sometimes it's hard to tell, like just in terms of the size. So there's basically the feet. I'm not going to take it out of the box. Uh, in the future, I might actually take it out of the box. I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, this, this stands 20 inches tall, which is 50 centimeters. I guess he held this from my ceiling, um, just like the very top one, maybe like a bit of an inch gap at the top. So like I was able to go like put this on a shelf, basically be going on a shelf its own or shelf of figures this size. And most figures usually like go for like about anywhere between like four to six inches. I've gone average in bags. Maybe like the average, so there's like basically the front of it. There's the side of it, it says World of Nintendo. There's also an R World of Nintendo one. I don't, I really don't care much for the World of Nintendo ones. I don't know if I will learn World of Nintendo. It's practically the exact same figure. I'm going to get on the packaging. As you can see, the back there's basically DK, Bowser, Mario, Yoshi, Link, and Wario. I think about the World of Nintendo ones, I go for about a tenner. That one there, I got that in a barbering store, which is basically home barbering. That on its own. No, it was a double pack of that in Cooper Trip, I think. Or better than that, in Yoshi and the Luigi and Cooper Trip. I'll show them up in a future video and go into them like, properly. Um, but, like, so the World and Hello ones, they go for about a tenner. And like, you can see all the articulation, as I said. I think I don't like what articulation is like. When you see, look at the figures and you can see like how like, the screws and stuff go. I think it just makes like the figure like quality just like downgraded. You can see like the uh, the way the ears are, you can see right inside the ears, it's pretty good, and the sideburns are pretty good. The moustache, I love how he has a massive nose. His nose is probably like, let me see, mm, maybe about two inches in size, the way this really sticks out there. Like a cleansing, you can pretty much just put it on it like, and that other side there. 
But if you're like me, a man child, or like you have any kids, like nieces and nephews, cousins, brothers and sisters, or any kids your own, I recommend getting them on easier. Like I don't know like, if you take it out of the box and if you drop it, like you like, smash the pieces, like you drop it on the stairs. Only five quid, like, but the thing is, like the size of it's pretty good, cool, like so it's gonna be like ones that are cool collection pieces. That's something that only just realised like there are now that you can go to the store as well. As I said, I don't think the figures really got there in terms of the hands. The paint job is a bit messed up. Once you take it out of the box, just get a damp cloth and go over it. Basically, like, on the sides there, you can sort of like see, and then I think you can see in the front here. Oh, you can. Uh, right there. So you see, like, it's like red, and then it goes on to the blue. You can see, like, all the way across, like, black, which is basically just like underneath on the outside of the figure. So inside of the figure, probably like hollow or whatever. I, I really don't know. There's like basically like a gap right there. I don't know if there's a figure here. It actually just looks perfect almost. But you can actually see like maybe like a bit of blue running under the red. But anyways, hope you enjoy the video and as always, watching. Thank you for watching.